Mr. Green Jeans? Hi, Joey. I'm really thirsty. How would you like to share a sip of your milk? Well, here, Joey, you can have the whole glass. Thanks. You're welcome. Hi, Mr. Green Jeans. Wow, that's a magnificent looking lunch. Thank you, Mr. Moose. May I have a bite of your sandwich, please? Well, sure, Mr. Moose. I, I can make myself another sandwich. Oh, Uncle. You're welcome. <sighs> you know, Mr. Green Jeans, Bunny's pretty upset about the Bunny of the Year Award, and I thought I'd bring him some cookies to cheer him up. Sure thing, Mr. Moose. There you go. Uncle. You're welcome. You know, the best thing about sharing keeps you skinny. Say it again! Welcome to the Treasure House. I'm so glad you can share today with us. We're waiting to hear news whether Bunny Rabbit has been named the Bunny of the Year. It's a very big deal. Good morning, Bunny Rabbit. Mr. Moose, Bunny, you look a little nervous today. Morning, Captain. He's just a hair on edge. I can see that. Any news of the award yet? Morning, Green Jeans, Joey. We haven't heard a word. How about a sentence? Not a word, a sentence, a paragraph, or a comma, period. Oh, Bun, Captain Bunny's really worried about what will happen if he doesn't win. Then someone else will. Bunny, if you win or you don't, we'll still love you just the same. That's right, Bun. We're here for you. Sure thing, Bun. You'll always be my pal. Bunny, you're my best friend forever. You know that. Oh, Bunny, I'm glad we've made you feel better. What's that? You smell something that would make you feel even better? You smell carrots? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Bunny, but I don't have any carrots in my pockets. I think he smells my carrots, Captain. Oh. Here you go, Bun. Fresh from the garden. <laughs> well, I think he's getting back to normal. I don't know, Captain. All he dreams about, all he talks about, is winning this award. All he cares about are the prizes that he'll get when he wins. Who's, Who's there? there? Well, is somebody going to get it? Well, I'll go get it. This is so exciting. Ooh. Good luck, Bunny Rabbit. Oh, hello. Thank you very much. It's an overnight delivery envelope, and it's addressed to B. Rabbit treasure house. Ooh. Oh, come on, Captain. Dear B. Rabbit, you have been named Bunny of the Year. Congratulations! Oh, Bunny! Way to go! Wow! Are all these boxes prizes? I think what's inside them are the prizes, Mr. Green Jeans. Right, Joey. That's what I meant. Bunny, shall we open up the box? Okay. Hurry, Captain. We already know what newspaper looks like. I right. want to see the prizes. Here we go. Oh, look! Wow. A crown! Wow! That crown <laughs> looks great on you, Bunny. Oh, yeah, and I bet it would look great on a certain cute moose. How about it, Bun? Can I try it on? No? What? Only you can wear it because only you won the contest? 
Oh, well, it's probably too small for me anyway. Shall we see what else is here? Yeah. Look, a sash. Oh, bunny of the year. Wow, now that's more my size. Lay it on me, Captain. That's if Bunny doesn't mind. You do mind? Oh. I'm surprised, Bunny. I thought you wouldn't mind sharing with your friend, Mr. Moose. I guess not. Well, it's small potatoes anyway. Let's get on to the big potatoes. All right. There you are. And there's a scepter. <laughs> Let's see what else. Look at these. Those potatoes look an awful lot like carrots. I think they're carrot candy, Joey. Mmm, I could go for one of those. Yeah. I think we'd all like to try one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, may we, Bunny? How'd you like to open them up and pass them around? Why not? You won them, so you want to eat them all? Mm. I think Bunny's going to win another contest. Most selfish bunny rabbit. Bunny, if I may say so, I'm very surprised. I thought you'd want to share your special day with your friends. Of course you would. Oh, you think that Digit has some television news coverage of your crowning. Well, let's go see. Copernicus P. Digit at your service. Hiya, Digit. Bunny wants to know if you have anything about his being named Bunny of the Year. Checking, Captain. Nope, not yet. Sorry, Bunny Rabbit. Well, have you got anything about why sharing is important? Checking. Hmm. I have the perfect thing to share with you. We've got to share. Share with each other. Share with your parents, your sister and your brothers. We'll share the sunshine, a shady place. You can even share the smile on your face. Sharing is fun. Sharing is so easy to do. Share with someone. And find someone to share with you. Offer we drink to all your friends. Maybe a snack or a toy, it all depends. What kind of sharing you think is cool? You could even share your swimming pool. Everybody, sharing is fun. Sharing is so easy to do. Share with someone. Someone to share with you. Sharing is fun. Yes, sharing is fun. Digit, that was wonderful. Copernicus P. Digit signing off. Well, Bunny, I'm glad you had a chance to see all those animals sharing. Where is Bunny Rabbit? I don't know. Oh, look, it's the hair apparent. Bunny, did you see what Digit just showed us? Bunny, I really think this is getting out of hand. I think we have to talk about this. You'd be glad to, huh? But I have to make an appointment. For when? Next year? You'll be available when the next Bunny of the Year is named? <laughs> Captain, I can't believe Bunny Rabbit's acting this way. I know, Green Jeans. Maybe Grandfather Clock has some advice for us on this problem. <laughs> Hello, Grandfather. I'm going to need your help. <laughs> when I count to three, I want you all to shout, Wake up, Grandfather Clock. <laughs> OK? One, two, three. Wake up, Grandfather <laughs> Clock. <laughs> One more time, a little louder. One, two, three. Wake up, Grandfather Clock! If there was an old woman who stepped in some glue... <laughs> oh, oh, Captain, was I dreaming, or are things a little sticky around here? Very sticky, Grandfather. Bunny Rabbit won't share his prizes. Oh, well, I'd like to share a couple of finish my rhymes if you think it might help. Oh, please do, yes. Okay, here goes. We share things in sun, 
We share things in snow. We share when we're happy or when we feel low. Because whatever your mood and no matter the weather, it's caring and sharing that keeps us together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to keep my eyelids together and... Uh, <gasps> oh, Grandfather. <laughs> uh, pleasant dreams, Grandfather. Oh, there's my alarm. Oh, my. There. <laughs> Maybe Chuck can help us with this problem. Green jeans, I promised Chuck I'd meet him by the waterfalls. Okay, Captain. We'll all keep thinking. Maybe we can come up with a game plan while you're gone. Thanks, Green Jeans. And if he doesn't, maybe he can find me a new best friend. Psst, Captain, over here. Who's there? Captain, it's me, Chuck. I'm over here. Oh, <laughs> it's Chuck. Kids, it's Chuck Kuro. The animal expert from Bush Gardens. Chuck, what were you doing hiding in the bushes? Captain, I've been waiting for you. Captain, I want to take you on an exciting adventure into Miami Reserve. So come Miami. on. Isn't that in Africa? It's just right through this jungle. Now watch your step. You're going to like this. It is so exciting. Oh, look at those monkeys. Chimpanzees are apes, actually, Captain. Did you know that they're on the endangered animals list? No, really? That's horrible. Yeah, that means there's so few of them left in the wild that they're in danger of not being able to live without our help protecting them. That's why it's so important that we take good care of them. And that's what our zookeepers are doing right now. They get fed fresh fruits and vegetables several times a day. Why are there so many different piles of food, Chuck? Well, chimps share a lot of things pretty well. You might notice that their hands are very human-like. They take turns combing each other's hair and playing with each other, even wrestling around. But they're not very good at sharing food. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. The bigger, stronger females kind of like Smokey right there. She's got that gray beard, and she's about 35 years old. And Samantha right there, she's 22. They tend to push aside the smaller chimps in order to show their dominance. Dominance. Mm -hmm. huh. Each group of chimpanzees has a leader that is smarter and stronger than all the rest. And that leader lets the others know when they can eat. <laughs> Looky there. That one's eating right now in front of us. Oh, and Captain Chimpanzees, they can get really big and strong. They can grow to be five feet tall and weigh as much as a small man. That's fascinating. But you say they don't like to share, huh? Nope, not always. Hmm. That reminds me of a certain bunny rabbit I know. Well, thanks, Chuck. Thanks for letting me meet all your new friends. Oh, you're welcome, Captain. Oh, what? what was that? Oh, it's just an alarm on my pocket watch. Time for me to get back to the treasure house. <laughs> and I'm not lying. <laughs> Come on, Bunny. Don't you have anything you want to share with your friends? Oh, good. I'm glad Bunny finally decided to share. So that's why you made so many copies of your picture in your Bunny of the Year pose? Not exactly the kind of sharing I had in mind. I don't know what we're gonna do about Bunny Rabbit. I know, I'm worried about him too. Yeah, me too. Oh, hey. We're glad you're back. Have you thought of any way we can help Bunny Rabbit? Since he's opened the rest of his presents, he's gone even more carrot won't share it crazy. Hi, Green Jeans, Joey. Hi, Captain. Hey, have you got an idea of how to help Bunny? I'm afraid not. It seems chimps don't share very well either, Mr. Green Jeans. Well, he's gonna have to share some of those carrots in there, or they're gonna get rotten. We'll have to throw them all out. Carrots? Inside, Captain. Take a look for yourself. At least half of those big boxes are filled with carrots, and he won't share a one. 112. 
114. Oh, hi, Captain. Mr. Moose, you're counting carrots. Recounting? Bunny wants to make sure that all 312 carrots are here. Why isn't he counting them himself? 313. Because he keeps eating them. Mr. Moose, I think you've lost count. I think I've lost Bunny. I thought this would bring us closer together, but it hasn't. Being carrot bearer to the Bunny of the Year isn't all it's stacked up to be. I quit. Bunny Rabbit, can I see you up here a minute? I think this has gotten out of hand. When you have a problem with someone, it's important to tell that person in a polite manner. No, <laughs> Bunny, Mr. Moose isn't going to keep counting. And we want to talk to you about what you've been doing. I know you've enjoyed your prizes, but I can guarantee you that you'll have even more fun if you share them with your friends. No? Hmm. Bunny Rabbit, what are you going to do with these hundreds of carrots, hmm? Bunny, there's no way that you can eat all these carrots by yourself. Carrots don't last that long, Bunny, even in a refrigerator. I think there's only one thing that you can do, Bunny. You're going to have to share. Well, why don't you listen to this story, and then you can tell me what you want to do, okay? Oh, I love a story. <laughs> Mr. Green Jeans, can you tell Joey it's time for a story? Joey, story time. You know, sharing comes in all different shapes and sizes. In this story, a little boy shares with a gregarious friend who happens to be a moose. By the way, gregarious means very friendly. Oh, like me. I'm going to like this story. <laughs> I thought you would, Mr. Moose. It's called When You Give a Moose a Muffin. And it's by Laura Joffe Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a moose a muffin, he'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another and another and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask for some old socks. He'll make sock puppets. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paints. Then he'll ask you to help make the scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, Boo! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paints. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a most magnificent story, Captain. Ah, uh, thanks, Mr. Moose. I thought you'd like it. <laughs> Bunny Rabbit, did you like the story? Where is Bunny Rabbit? Oh, oh what more can we do? We've all tried. Mm -hmm. And failed, Captain. Bunny just doesn't want to share. What's left to do? My bunny lies over the ocean. My bunny lies over the sea. My bunny lies over the ocean. 
Oh, bring back my bunny to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my bunny to me, to me. Bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my bunny to me. Bunny! Oh, that's a great idea. Bunny says he wants to take his carrots and make a carrot salad for everyone. Oh! And carrot cake, <laughs> and carrot cookies, and carrot cupcakes. Okay. And carrot soup. Okay, we've got the idea. Thanks, Bun. I'm so happy that you decided to share your prizes. But can you share something else? Two little words that would make a great big difference when you've hurt your friend's feelings. Oh, yeah. Bunny says, I'm sorry. And Captain, I have two words I'd like to share with you. Yes? Knock, knock. I don't think that I want to know who's there, Mr. Moose. Oh, come on, Captain. Remember last time somebody knocked, Bunny got all those prizes. That's right. Okay. Who's there? Can I? Can I who? Can I drop some ping pong balls on your head, please? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay! Thank you for visiting with us at the treasure house today. Bunny Rabbit found out that even a big award doesn't mean much unless you can share with friends. I hope that you'll remember that it's always more fun to share with your friends, too. <laughs> so until next time, be kind to each other. Know that you can be anything you want to be. And remember, you always have friends at the treasure house. <laughs>
that. We did it. Okay? Now, what rhymes with truck? What? Truck. Rake. Truck, rake. Truck, B. Truck horn. The truck does have a horn. Has it? Oh, we're rhyming. Rhyming. Okay, okay, okay. Truck. What is that? Right. Truck, duck. Truck, duck. Truck. Duh. All right, three. Corn, B. Bees eat corn. Hmm? No? Okay. Uh, corn, duck. Ducks eat. Okay, don't rush me, all right? You guys go too fast. Corn, horn. Boom. All right. Tree, horn. Could go twice, you know. Tree, duck. Tree, hat, we're rhyming. Tree, rake. Tree, B. Tree, B. Tree, B. Tree, B. Tree, B. I think that I shall never see a bee with a tree. A uh, cake. Hmm? Cake, B. You've seen bees around them. Oh, we're rhyming. Right, I'm sorry. Okay, cake, horn. No. Rhyme, cake, duck. Cake, duck, cake, hat, cake, rake. I know, cake, rake. Mm-hmm. So, I drew the line. Now everything's fine. Got a cat and a hat, truck, duck, corn, horn, cake, rake. Naturally, we got a tree and a bee. We had a good time rhyming, didn't we? But do you know we've got to go? Got to leave you. That's terrible. I've got to say goodbye. I think I'm going to cry. Mm -hmm.